Hi guys, my name is Marina and today I'm going to show you how to create a watermark using Adobe Photoshop. But before we start, uh, let me introduce to you, this is called your toolbar and on the right hand side, this is called your palette. For any reason at all, if you do not see your toolbar in your palette, you can go to window workspace reset palette location this is important because if you don't have your toolbar and if you don't have your palette it will be very difficult for you to draw uh, using photoshop later on okay now let's start we click on file we click on open and we're going to click on i'm going to choose my cupcakes all right, now this particular picture is a little bit too big for me to use for my blog. So I'm going to resize it by clicking on image, image size. And usually I type down 400 by 300. If you like your picture to be a bit bigger or a little bit smaller, you can adjust it as how you like it to be. And you press on, okay. All right, now, You'll notice that the picture is 50%. I like to show you a shortcut that I like to use. I press on Ctrl and Spacebar. And you notice that your mouse has been transformed into a magnifying tool. If you click on it one time, it will be 66.7%. Don't let go of your mouse. Uh, sorry, don't let go of your keyboard. And if you press on it in a time, you will see that it becomes 100%. Then you let go of your keyboard here. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is this. I click on image adjustment auto levels, image adjustments auto contrast, image adjustment auto color to adjust the color of my pictures. But for any reason at all, if you do not like how your picture looks like, you can go to the right hand side, which is called your history palette. You can click up one time, two times, three times, as in how you prefer your picture to look like previously. Now, I'm quite happy with how it looks like um, adjusted, so I'm going to go all the way down like this. Okay, now, once we've done that, I'm going to go down to the layers palette over here. Right at the bottom over here, there will be an icon that looks like a trash can. Now beside it, if you hold your mouse here, you will see that you have an icon that says create new layer. I'm going to click on create new layer and what we have just created is that we have created a transparent layer. The name is called layer 1. Now don't worry if it says layer 2, layer 3. The name at this point of time is not important. Just as long as you see this grey and white colour box, um, picture here this is what we want okay now on the left hand side on your toolbar you will be able to see the rectangular marking tool now for any reason at all if you do not see a rectangle it's fine just click the neck of your mouse and you will be able to see these four icons here you click on rectangular marking tool like this all right very good now, the next thing we're going to do is to take your mouse right at the corner here. You will see a crosshair. Create a small little rectangle like this. And once you're happy with the size, let go of your mouse. You will see a uh, marching ends, these little dotted lines like this. Okay, what is the function of this? This is actually a container because later on we're going to fill it in with color. Now, if you don't make marching ends, what's going to happen to the picture is that the entire picture will be um, black or green as how you choose the color to be. Now, we don't want to have that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to go to the left hand side, back to the toolbar. You will see a bucket over here. This is called your paint bucket tool. I'm going to click on this. Once you've done that, 
Um, I'm going to go down here. This is called your foreground and your background color. My foreground is black. My background color is white. Um, uh, but what's important here is to click on the um, foreground color. We click. And what you're going to see is the color picker. To choose the color you want, you can scroll up and scroll down as how you want it to be. So let's say I choose green. I can choose any shade of green that I want to like this. If you're happy with that, you press on OK. But for me, I'm going to choose on white. I'm going to click on OK. Alright, very good. Now, with your mouse still at the paint bucket, I'm going to fill it in with white. There you go. Alright, wonderful. Now, the next thing I'm going to do here is that I'm going to go to the opacity. Now, on the right hand side, the opacity says 100%. Now, I'm going to type uh, down 50%, 50, and we'll see what happens. My uh, rectangle becomes a little bit more transparent. Um, of course, if you don't want to have 50%, you can adjust it as and how you like it to be. The smaller the num number, the more transparent it is. The bigger the number, the more opaque it is. Alright, now, the next thing I'm going to do is this. Uh, I'm going to press on the letter T over here. This is called your type tool or your text tool. I'm going to click on this. Okay. Um, on top here, you will notice that your bar has changed. And you notice that whenever you click on a different icons on the toolbar, the bar on top here will change to um, reflect the changes that it did. So, I'm going to choose on the font that I want to have. Okay, now you can just choose your favorite font. Maybe I'm going to choose on Futura. And then I'm going to choose on the size. And there's a square box over here. This is the same as your color picker. Just click on it. And for now, I'm going to choose on black. So I'm going to click on OK. All right, wonderful. So once you've seen this, notice that your mouse has changed into an eye beam. So I'm going to click on top of my rectangle here and I'm going to type down. I can has cupcakes. Hmm. All right, wonderful. Now the next tool I'm going to do is this. You see that it's not adjusted as in how I like it to be. So the next tool I'm going to press is this. This is called your move tool, which is right next to your marking tool. Click on this, and you can just move your word. Uh, let me adjust it. Alright, so far it's looking good and notice that you have a new layer here which says um, T and on the right hand side it says um, I can have cupcakes. It reflects as how you type it over here. Now, what I'm going to do is optional but if you like, I, I think it's kind of nice. I do a right click and choose on blending options. You do a right click on the word itself. Don't choose on T. I click on blending options and you will have a new window like this. Now don't be afraid to experiment because there are lots and lots of interesting layer style that you can do. For example, if I wanted to click on stroke, this is pretty interesting. I click on the word stroke and um, this is quite it's quite pretty and if you wanted to you can choose on um, bevel and emboss it looks quite interesting I'm not sure if you can see it but um, it looks very 3d if I choose on bevel and emboss um, but for now I'm going to choose on drop shadow you see something like this now if you want to have extra adjustments to your layer style you click on the word itself click on the word drop shadow or click on the word drop um, stroke, click on the word bevel and boss, click over here. And if you wanted to, you can adjust the distance, um, you can click on the spread, you can choose on the size. Don't be afraid to experiment, it's okay. 
worst comes to worst, if you made a mistake, you just press on cancel or you go back to your history. It's okay. Alright, I'm going to press on OK. Alright, so the final step is this. I click on File. I click on Save for Web. Uh, you can't click on Save because it's going to save it as a PSP, which is a Photoshop format. If you do that, what's going to happen is that it's impossible for me to see it online. So, I'm going to click on File, Save on Web. And I'm going to choose on JPEG. I click on save and I'm going to type down the name for me. I'm going to choose cupcakes. And I press on save. And that's that is how you create a very simple watermark. So if you have any problem, please let me know. And uh, visit renas.net. So I'll say bye bye for now. Bye bye.